the Great Wave of Kanagawa is one of the best known pieces in art history. But can we say the same about the man behind the brush? Born in 1760s Japan, Katsushika Hokusai became a master of ukiyo-e, a traditional art form consisting of woodblock prints depicting popular subjects from kabuki actors to sumo wrestlers, great beauties of the time, and famous landscapes. Shaking its foundations to push it forward as only talented artists do. Hi everybody, I'm Aika Augustine, and today I'm with Google Arts and Culture to let you in on six lesser known facts about Hokusai. But first, make sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything. At only six, Hokusai began painting, showing his interest in art from an early age. By 14, he was already a wood carving apprentice, and at 18, he got accepted into the studio of Katsukawa Shunsho, a prominent ukiyo-e artist. After Shunsha's death, Hokusai began experimenting with his style. Despite bans against contact with the West, he drew inspiration from smuggled Western art in defiance of genre conventions. In response to this regression, he got expelled from school. This fresh start encouraged him to continue developing his style, which ultimately revolutionized the basics of ukiyo-e. Hokusai's work began to focus on precise depictions of landscape and nature. The characters in his prints are people in everyday scenes, instead of the traditional kabuki actors and beautiful women. He soon made a name for himself with this elaborate composition that built depth with a Western-inspired perspective. If you think you know Hokusai, think twice. Although the Japanese artist is globally known as Hokusai, it wasn't always the case. Meant to represent different stages in his career, Hokusai signed his pieces under many names. And even though it was common for Japanese artists to use a variety of signatures across their careers, Hokusai used over 30 pseudonyms, making him an unparalleled shapeshifter. Manga has become synonymous with Japanese culture worldwide, just as Mount Fuji or the Great Wave have. But we share more than just a country of origin. Hokusai was actually the first artist to use the word manga for his work. A mature artist, he published a sketchbook of random sketches as a convenient way to earn money and to further spread his style. An immediate success, he produced 11 more volumes in six years, attracting young artists to his style, which prompted him to establish his school. It wasn't just his talents that made Hokusai famous, but also his sense of humor, charisma, and eccentricity. A showman, he painted a 600-foot portrait of a Buddhist priest, Dharma, in front of a crowd during a festival. Even better, it's said that he dipped a chicken's feet in red paint when someone to a painting contest before the shogun. He had it thrown over a blue line and presented it as maple leaves floating on a river. Funnily enough, he won! Hokusai was a strong follower of Nichiren Buddhism, which heavily influenced his work. A symbol of his face, the North Star, is even represented in his name which means North Star Studio, but references to his faith weren't limited to his name. Mount Fuji became one of his most recurring subjects, since the Nichiren school believed that the secret to immortality was atop the mountain. An incredibly prolific artist, Hokusai is said to have produced over 30,000 artworks during his lifetime, leaving a legacy that lives on. As a result, his work has transcended borders, cultures, and languages, influencing our conception of art ever since. If you want to learn more about the incredible men and women that helped shape our history, make sure to follow Google Arts and Culture.